Hello and welcome to my channel Making Crafts. Today I'm just doing a quick flip through of a mini journal that I made using Marcy Coat Designs papers. For this journal I used her mint and pink papers as well as her newest kit which is an embellishment kit and it's in the Eastern Spring Kit and I will link all that below so you can see where to um, get this kit if you're interested. And so I just wanted to make a cheerful little journal for spring, kind of Easter. For this one, I'm just using little rings to hold it together. And for the actual base pages, I used a Silhouette Design Store file to cut the pages. And the pages this, of the base of the book are more of a rectangular shape here. And then you know you have the different lengths and the different edge shapes. And then I cut out a large tag and it's not actually a book page I just used a silhouette design store file for a tag and I just made it large enough to fit this book and then another page I cut out was for the um, an egg I just enlarged the egg as well from a design file and then I also cut a little rabbit and I added him to a little piece of paper so that um, he could be further out in the book so that it I wanted to have since I had the layers across the front going this way I wanted the layers across the top to go that way as well. So let's just do a little quick flip through. And the front page here that um, is from the mint and pink kit, but it's actually two sheets printed on top of each other. So what happened was, this is a sample of um, what this sheet's supposed to look like, one of them. And so what happened was I was printing this one and then I wanted to print the little flowers on the back. And this is what that, that print looks like. So I was gonna print that on the back of the plaid but what happened was I accidentally ran through my printer wrong and the flowers printed on top of the plaid. That actually turned out to be very pretty and so I just left it and didn't worry about it being that way and I, I decided to use it actually for the cover. And so these little images are not the happy spring. I created that myself, but the butterfly and this uh, little bunny image and the carrot and the egg all came from Marcy Coat Designs um, Eastern Spring Kit. And so I just designed this on the silhouette design uh, myself and then these are some little flowers that I cut out and glued together and attached here and so um, I thought this was and what I did also to make the pages stiffer and thicker I glued together two sheets of 110 pound cardstock and then before I glued them together I sewed around the fronts of each page now I did not sew around the backs because I, I kind of wanted to leave it not sewn and first page here's a little tag that comes in the embellishment kit that I'm gonna link below. And so I just made a little pocket, but this is a mat for a picture. And then I made a pocket out of the mat to put the tag in. And so I've left everything so that when you put your picture in, it'll slide up under the little images so that the picture can be attached and the images not be in the way. And so the wording is from the kit as well. It says, Happy Spring. And then for um, the second page, I have added some more of these flowers. These flowers are just from um, the Silhouette Design Store, and I, can, I can't link them below. You can't actually link to the design store. There's, I just can't have it figured out how to link to the actual things, but I will list the names of the files and the artists that I got them from so that if you want to see if you can find them, you can. And so then here's these two images are from the kit, and there's another mat. And once again, I've made it so that you can slide up under there. And so this one is not a pocket. And so... On this page, I've used the images again, and as you can see, this is kind of loose, but if you want to glue it down once you put the um, picture in, you could. And so then I've used the words hippity hop, and I really love this little image of this bunny with the mushrooms and flowers. It's so cute. And then the tag I've left blank for now, and um, it could still be embellished up a lot, but I hadn't really decided if I wanted it to be a pocket, so I thought that could be decided when um, the pictures are added and the pages, and I journal on them. And this could actually be, you could put your picture and then journal all about the activity here. And that's what I kind of intended this book to be for. It's like for your spring activities or your to document your Easter egg hunt. And so I think it'd be nice to have some places to journal about it and write about what all happened and then have your little photos. And so here we have some more little flowers and images. And so I've used the images on each page from the kit as well as the flowers that I made myself. And this paper here is actually from the green and pink kit. So, it, so this one, the first, the main pages, all of most of the main pages are from the um, mint and pink kit from Marcy Coat Design. But this sheet is actually from the um, green and pink kit. 
and I will link that. And so there's the egg that I cut out, and I've sewn around it as well, and then I've attached another piece to the back. I did start out with just printing them double-sided, but I just felt like the 110-pound cardstock was not um, thick enough, so I wanted to be a little bit more sturdy pages since they were in this little ring bound. Okay, so for this page, I've added the mat, and the mat is, is actually a pocket, and I forgot to show you on the other page that it is a pocket here as well for the tag. So here's another, well, I call it a tag. It's just like a little journaling card. I should say that instead of a tag. And so there's another one of the journaling cards from the kit. And then this page, I have the journaling card as well. And I just fussy cut these out. Now, I like the flowers and stuff I did cut on my uh, cameo, silhouette cameo. But for these, I just fussy cut these out because I, I enjoy fussy cutting. And sometimes I like to sit in um, my recliner and cut those out while I'm hanging out with the family. So I, that I don't mind fussy cutting as well. But you could probably, if you pull them into your um, cameo, you could figure out how to cut them. And here's another pocket. It says, it's a little card that says Happy Easter. And then here's another mat, and then you can slide your pictures under. And then this page um, I left for journaling or pictures. You could do either one that you wanted to do. And then for the last page, I have the little bunny image and the flowers. And then this little, um, what am I trying to call it? What do you call those? Like a little banner. These, these were a little longer, but I just cut those off so they fit my page. And this, the actual banner spring comes with the kit. And so I have just attached it here and you can slide your photos. Let me see if I can show you. So I've left it loose so you can slide your photo up, you know, so it can be attached here on the page. And that way it'll slide under. And so I have, um, and then I've just added some little flowers to decorate it. And so, and that's the little journal. And then I've just added a little lace here. And I think I'm going to go digging around in my ribbon and add some more ribbon and things to it. But um, I think, I think it turned out really cute. And I enjoy playing around. This is not um, the typical thing that I make all the time, the, you know, the little cutesy things. And so I had fun um, creating this. I thought it turned out really cute. And it was fun, something cheerful for spring. With all these dreary winter days that we've had, it's it's fun to start playing around with some more flowers and um, trying to make something for that's more cheerful and cutesy. So um, I hope you enjoyed the flip through of this, and hopefully this inspires you to get started on your Easter album or Easter journal or scrapbooking, whichever you do. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. And bye.